a raisin in the sun, a la schmuck. The younger family in Lorraine Hansberry's A Raisin in the Sun has plenty to complain about. Sucks. I hate what you. Everything oh, sucks. Hardworking mama is getting a huge insurance check. Awesome, right? Unfortunately, everybody wants a piece of it. Walter grabs the cash for himself and loses it all. Uh, yoink. Ruining the family's dreams of an easier life. If you can stand more bad news, that money was Benita's best chance at paying for med school. No money, no med school. So whose plump, juicy dream is most deserving of our Shriveled Raisin Award? Well, Benita's our first contender, and she's the obvious choice here. Her friend calls her Alio. In this corner, Muhammad Ali. Yo. Meaning, one for whom bread is not enough. Beneath has got a fiery, take-no-prisoners attitude. Aww. And she's out to change the world using her medicine and social justice. Mama was going to put away a nice chunk of change to pay for Beneath's tuition, which would have given her a leg up on fulfilling her goals. When the family learns that Walter's no-good buddy ran off with her college fund, This seems like a good place to invest. <laughs> Beneath feels like an idiot for believing she could make a difference. Then there's Walter, the man with a plan. He's got a hot tip for a liquor store business that's going to break the youngers out of poverty and let him quit his job as a chauffeur for a rich white man. How about this weather, huh? Yeah, weather. Most of all, Walter wants respect. But then Walter makes that not-so-smart decision to trust his money to a guy named Willie. And now his whole family is treating him like he's slime mold. Good luck with that respect thing there, Walt. You know that saying, if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy? Well, with mama younger, it's more the opposite. Her contentment depends on the well-being of her loved ones. She supports Benita's career and believes that Walter is destined to become more than a white man's employee. She's such a cool mom, she even buys her peeps a house. Her husband literally died so that his dream could become a reality. Wait, what? Oh, no, you're thinking of, um, Death of a Salesman, yeah, uh, great play, um, real good American class. It's his life insurance money that's put the Youngers on Easy Street. So who's the winner of our Shriveled Raisin Award? Is it Benita for having her career goals as a med student swirl down the drain? Or Walter for losing the money in his shot at getting some respect? Or is Mama our winner for having to put up with the kids and the vanishing cash? Shmup amongst yourselves. Uh, yoink.